All right. And we're live, pal. <laughs> and, uh, if anything, these live streams have been keeping my creativity up as far as thumbnail poses. I've been trying something new every time. I'm trying, anyway. But anyway, hi, Andy here. And uh, I don't have a whole lot of time today because I got to get ready for work here shortly, get some lunch, and uh, head on out. But here we are once again at the Mapadonado McDonald's here in Ohio. And uh, yeah, man, things are. Uh, Things are looking pretty good moving forward. Um, we did hit a rough patch earlier this week, but uh, you know, looking to get past it shortly. Um, been having some problems with uh, Adobe Premiere. Uh, my other Adobe Creative Cloud apps work fine, but uh, Premiere crashed a while back and I haven't been able to really use it since. And uh, as you guys know, I'm a freelance video editor, and when my main video editing software goes down, that's a bit of a problem. Um, especially since I can't connect to internet on uh, my main workstation computer at the moment. Um, that's a bit of a problem, so I've been looking for, uh, for some workarounds, and uh, I think I got a good solution going. I downloaded, because uh, Adobe does have uh, some solutions in case you're having problems uh, with uh, getting the, the apps and stuff, especially if you have to like download them offline or something like that. Um, I haven't tried it yet, so if it works, I'll do a tutorial of it. If not, then I'll, you know, <laughs> try to find some other workaround. But the main thing is I wanted to download the new version of Premiere because uh, the whole Creative Cloud suite just got an upgrade uh, this week, actually, I think. Yeah, this week. Um, to the uh, the 2019 Creative Cloud Suite, so downloaded the uh, the updates for all my stuff that I use, and uh, gonna be implementing that shortly. And it's kind of good that I've held off on uh, on uh, tutorials and stuff until now because now I can talk about the new Creative Cloud Suite, and that's hopefully gonna bring in some traffic and stuff. So looking forward to that. Um, but speaking of which, uh, the the whole point of this of this video, what I talked about in the in the title, which I guess we'll get to here in a sec, because I got one more thing to talk about. Um, should I completely blank? There was like one thing I needed to talk about before I get into. That. Oh yeah, um, like I said, uh, we'll be trying to uh, update the uh, the Adobe apps and stuff on the computer that doesn't have internet at the moment, but we're looking to resolve that very soon little internet issue it's kind of funny that I am I guess now a daily vlogger and I didn't think I would be but you know here we are it's a funny world <sighs> but yeah um seriously there was like one thing I, I was gonna tell you guys that I forgot but anyway I'll probably remember it as we're getting into the main topic of this video and I'll be like oh yeah it's that thing <laughs> you know how these is you know we're alive pal so in any event if you guys read the title, oh shit, now I remember. <laughs> Before I even got into it, okay, I'm sorry guys. This is why I edit my vlogs. Anyway, it is for vlog 300, which is coming up very soon, actually. Um, with doing these live streams and stuff on a consistent basis. Um, I've been getting closer and closer to that number. And I asked you guys uh, here on YouTube as well as on Instagram, because uh, I'm going to be doing a Q&A section for vlog 300. You know, so hopefully I can some a, a some cues for y'all that you might have. Because last time I did a Q and A was vlog 200, and a lot of things have changed since then. You know, first off, I'm not in Japan at the moment, but I'm going to be back soon. Um, and I filmed that in the uh, the Akoska MWR. This was even before I got my apartment in Japan, so that was a lot. <laughs> that was a big change for me. Um, but yeah, hoping to do the Q&A section, so if you guys got any cues that you need aid from me, uh, be sure to leave me a little something something down in the comments down below in the booby de boops or uh, send me something on Twitter, or Instagram, whatever the case. Um, just look for the Andy San, T-H-E, A-N-D-Y-S-A-N, and you're bound to find me on pretty much any social media <laughs> that I'm a part of. So, you know, like I said, Twitter, Instagram. YouTube, you know, I even have a Facebook page too, so the Andy Son official for that. Um, 
but yeah um anyway for real this time <laughs> getting back to the uh the main topic of this video which is demonetization isn't the end so i was looking through my analytics today for my channels because i do that periodically just to kind of see how things are going what videos are connecting with people which aren't from an analytical standpoint you know um and i've noticed on my uh, main editing channel that the numbers are actually going up even though i got demonetized because there's a there's a little theory going around that if your channel is demonetized or just simply doesn't have monetization enabled then you're not going to get as many views as a monetized channel and just looking through my numbers and again could be just my numbers i don't know but looking through my numbers that's not the case at all you know and you know there's a lot of little things going or not going for my channel rather that would you know in theory according to what a lot of these youtube guru type people are saying you know because i'm almost in a lot of ways doing the exact opposite of what they're saying you know a lot of them are like create good quality content and do it daily on a consistent level and you know interact with the community yeah <laughs> well, I mean, I'm doing that here on this channel, but not so much on my editing channel. Um, but, I mean, if somebody leaves a comment, I always comment back for the most part. Um, hey, what up, James Just Vlogs? How you doing? So, uh, but looking at my numbers, you know, my views are up. Uh, watch time is a, a tad lower, but views are up. Subscribers are up, surprisingly, even though YouTube recently did a culling of a lot of subs. I think that was when their uh, their site was down. That might have been one of the reasons why it went down is they're implementing new algorithm or some funky stuff that you're probably going to be hearing in the next couple days and weeks and whatnot. Oh, is that what that was? Oh, okay. That explains it. <laughs> I thought they were just down for maintenance because they were putting something up. Well, there goes my game theory. But hey, that's just a theory. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, uh, can YouTube bring peace to the Middle East? Find out at 11. <laughs> oh, well. If anything, you know, it's kind of, you know, a little bit of sweet revenge seeing their site get shut down unexpectedly when they've been kind of fucking over a lot of creators in, in a way. But that's none of my business. <laughs> so... Many event, like I was saying, even with this whole demonetization thing happening on my other channel, um, I've been seeing my numbers go up in a big way, and I think it's just you know to submit to the content that I put out there. You know, the tutorials. Tutorials always do really good traffic on a consistent level, and you know I've made sure to really take care of the uh, the SEO side of the house when it comes to those, because a lot of people are looking on how to do stuff. So you just got to make it easy. You know, how to, yeah, that would be something. Oh my gosh. Well, yeah, that would suck. Um, you know, and it also is uh, kind of a test for a lot of uh, creators out there who uh, don't have a, uh, a solid uh, business plan or just like a, a backup plan. Cause you know, it's always the assumption that YouTube's going to be around forever just like MySpace was going to be around forever, right? Even though it's still technically up, but it's not culturally relevant anymore. Um, except in those, like, do you remember when you were on MySpace back in 2004? <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, I remember MySpace. You know. So aside from those remember when posts, uh, MySpace isn't really relevant anymore. So, you know, that's... I feel that's going to eventually happen to YouTube as well. Especially with, you know, other... Uh, platforms kind of gunning for that spot you know a lot of a lot of big businesses are looking to be a competitor to youtube you know you got twitch for gaming primarily even though they're starting to branch out with the twitch irl stuff so they're trying to become more than just a gaming platform and amazon you know i think amazon bought them didn't they so uh you know they have that level of funding and then amazon's doing its own uh, video service but that's more for the higher end creators the ones that have like captions for the videos and stuff like that uh, so there's that and uh, you have 
you know, Facebook video itself, you know, they're making a big push for video, not only on their own platform, but also with Instagram, with IGTV, which I haven't really heard too much uh, recently about. Shot of the Eagers might shout me out. Oh, that's dope. Right on. Um, yeah, shout out to Joseph. Oh, shit. I lost the chat. <laughs> but anyway, shout out to that guy. Um, but yeah, uh, point being is that you always have to have some sort of contingency plan, you know, and you have to build your skill set. And I think building your skill set is, oh, 316, nice, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this channel's getting there, but it's just my personal channel. It's not my, I won't even, I don't even know what a main channel is anymore. <laughs> As far as like how my content is, because it's so split up. Um, I guess my edited channel is my main channel, quote unquote. But yeah, um, but yeah, you just got to build up your skill set, and uh, I think that's going to help you carry over to the next platform or to the next state. You know, like say for instance, YouTube does get shut down just suddenly out of nowhere, like like you know. And uh, a lot of YouTubers obviously would be freaking out because, you know, they're going to lose all their ad money and they won't have a platform to put out content anymore, at least not at that level of distribution. Now, the smart ones will take their skills. You know, for me, for me, if YouTube shut down, um, I would just take my skills as a video editor uh, you know, go back to school a bit more so I can hone in those skills and network and hopefully get in with like a, a low, you know, like a, like a lower level production company or something like that. Well, I think T-Series has already passed PewDiePie in terms of subscribers, but they're, uh, the thing is they're not like a, a single person channel. It's like a, a network or something like that. It's like, it's like saying YouTube music or YouTube movies is a channel, you know, it's, but I guess their T series is more of a channel than than those. But yeah. So I think you know the smart YouTubers, smart creators will leverage their skills. Oh, they're only a half million now. Oh, I thought they already passed them. Oh. Well, they're closing in, I guess. <laughs> but um, I think the smart YouTubers will leverage their skills, and uh, can can use those to go on to different platforms. You know, like. You know, that even happened with MySpace, like I mentioned before. You know, I remember, you know, hearing about the story of Charles Trippy, CT of XC. You know, back in the day, way before YouTube and stuff, like he was putting out videos in MySpace. And I guess that's where he got his little first surge in internet popularity. And then, you know, when I first heard about him, it was through this uh, internet uh, reality show called Who Wants to Be an in Internet Millionaire? hosted by Joelcom that like nobody has ever seen or knows of I don't think and here's this kid with like the friggin like dyed pink hair and just kind of hippie-ish looking this is back when Charles had longer hair and uh I don't know I just kind of connected with them because a lot of the contestants that were on there you know they're supposedly like internet personalities quote unquote or they made money off the internet or some shit but none of them really had anything content-wise that was really worth my time. So I just I looked up everybody, and Charles was the only one that had anything halfway decent, even at the time. So I was just like ended up following him, even though he ended up losing out in the series. You know, I just ended up following him and was like, ah, oh, cool. Ah, appreciate it <laughs> for the notifications and whatnot. Um, yeah, been doing these streams pretty pretty consistently. Um, don't know how it's going to be when once it gets colder. It's going to be a bit harder to uh, to vlog in the car <laughs> when it's cold out. But right now, you know, you got the sun coming in. It's heating up the car nice and toasty. So I don't even have to have the car on right now, to be honest with you. But, uh, yeah, you know, like I said, with demonetization and everything, it's not affecting my channel at all from a view standpoint or, you know, people finding my video standpoint. Um, there was a, I did lose about 100 subscribers recently because YouTube, like I said, did a recent culling of subscribers, which they do periodically. 
So maybe it was like dead accounts or bots or something. I don't fucking know. But, uh, <laughs> um, whatever the case, you know, I've been seeing a steady increase of subs as well. So, you know, I think long term, you know, that little 100 sub dip ain't going to mean much of anything. Um, just got to keep on keeping on, man. And, uh, really glad that Adobe recently updated their stuff because then I'm going to be able to, to do tutorials and everything and it's going to be like all new and everything. So I'm kind of glad I waited this long to start doing tutorials. <laughs> um, so that'll help with, uh, with traffic moving forward, especially into 2019. Um, but yeah. Oh, speaking of, mon of demonetization, uh, I should be able to reapply in about nine, what's today? Yeah, about nine days from now. On the 27th is when I'll be able to reapply for monetization. So I'm hoping that uh, I get the okay again and uh, able to just carry on smartly from there and uh, make some tutorials and get some muns and stuff like that. Cause like I wasn't really relying on, on YouTube ad money for income or anything but again it's a nice little bit of saving bit of money to throw into savings especially since I'm gonna be moving to Japan soon so I'm gonna need every every last penny that I can get you know <laughs> that plane ticket money ain't gonna or that plane ticket ain't gonna pay for itself you know so yeah. it helps but I'm not super relying on it but in any event guys uh, Nine days, I'll be able to re-monetization. Stats and everything are looking good. They're also looking especially good for this channel as well. Um, but really, really pleased with the uh, the amount of growth I've been seeing. Yeah. Good seeing you on here, James. Hope to see you again soon. Catch you later. Um, but yeah, I've been really pleased with the uh, the amount of growth on this channel. And, uh, you know, I think these daily vlogs are really helping out. And uh, look forward to seeing answering you guys' questions for vlog 300 which is coming up very soon like I said you know just a couple more videos <laughs> literally a couple more videos and oh, big ass truck and I'm hoping to make vlog 300 an actual edited video not just a random ass live stream that's the plan anyway um, but you know things happen <laughs> but uh, yeah um, Things are going good, and the Andy Talks Navy channel has been doing a little better. Not as not as well as the other two channels, but you know it's kind of a side channel for me. You know, it's just a way for me to put out some Navy content when I can, and I'm looking to uh, to build it up a little bit in the future. But it's not like a super main priority or anything like that. So you know, kind of is what it is. You know, so. But in any event, guys, I do got to get going. Uh, got to get ready for work here shortly. But I uh, just want to make this video, let you know that demonetization isn't the end for your channel. You just got to keep making good stuff. Or in my case, kind of stop for like a month or two <laughs> and just kind of ride on the success of your old videos and, you know, whatever. But, you know, it's not the end. And uh, you just got to keep pushing forward making good stuff, learning new skills, most importantly. So if something like this were to happen, you can leverage those skills to help you get the money. And of course, it had to friggin' disconnect as as I was signing off. But uh, you know how it is. But anyway, like I was saying, hopefully before we get disconnected again. So anyway, this is the Andy Sign. Sign up for now. Thank you guys for tuning in this live stream, watching my other stuff. Look forward to answering your questions for Vlog 300. Keep them coming. Either here on the YouTubes, Twitter, Instagram, wherever. I'll gather them all up and we'll uh, do a little something something. But anyway, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.